Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, also known as Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, is the first installment in the beloved Harry Potter book series written by J.K. Rowling. The book was published in 1997, and the movie adaptation was released in 2001, directed by Chris Columbus. This movie was a massive success, and it launched the Harry Potter franchise, which eventually became one of the most successful film series in history. Despite the movie's enormous popularity, there are still many unknown facts and trivia about it that even die-hard fans might not know. In this article, we'll explore some of the lesser-known aspects of the movie, from casting choices to special effects to behind-the-scenes anecdotes. The movie was almost made by a different director. Before Chris Columbus was brought on to direct Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, the studio considered several other directors, including Steven Spielberg, who eventually turned down the project. Other directors in the running included Terry Gilliam, Alan Parker, and Jonathan Demme. Spielberg recommended Columbus for the job, as the two had previously worked together on Gremlins and The Goonies. The casting of Harry Potter One of the most crucial decisions in making the movie was finding the right actor to play the lead role of Harry Potter. The filmmakers conducted an extensive search across the oak, looking at over 10,000 potential candidates. Ultimately, they settled on Daniel Radcliffe, who was only 11 years old at the time. Radcliffe had never acted in a movie before, but his audition impressed the filmmakers so much that they knew he was the perfect choice. Daniel Radcliffe had a strange habit on set. During the filming of Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, Daniel Radcliffe developed a strange habit, he would repeatedly tap his forehead with his wand between takes. This habit was so noticeable that some of the other cast members began doing it as well. Radcliffe later explained that he did it to help him get into character and stay focused. The creation of Quidditch One of the most iconic elements of the Harry Potter series is the game of Quidditch, a magical sport played on broomsticks. In the movie, Quidditch was created using a combination of practical effects and CGI. The broomsticks were real, and the actors had to be trained in how to ride them. The balls and hoops, however, were added in post-production using CGI. The special effects were groundbreaking. Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone was released in 2001, at a time when CG was still relatively new and groundbreaking. The movie used a combination of practical effects, animatronics, and CGI to bring the magical world of Hogwarts to life. Some of the most memorable effects in the movie include the floating candles in the Great Hall and the giant troll that Harry and his friends have to fight. The Hogwarts Castle was actually built. To create the stunning visuals of Hogwarts Castle, the filmmakers built a 124-scale model of the castle. This model was over 50 feet long and took 86 artists and crew members over 4 months to build. The model was then used to create the CGI shots of the castle in the movie. The cast had a lot of fun on set. Despite the seriousness of the story, the cast of Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone had a lot of fun on set. Emma Watson, who played Hermione, has said that she and her co-stars would often play pranks on each other between takes. One of their favorite pranks was to sneak up behind each other and whisper, Voldemort, in a spooky voice the flying lesson scene was challenging to film, in the scene where Harry and his classmate have their first flying lesson, the actors had to be suspended on harnesses and filmed against a green screen. This required a lot of coordination and patience, as the actors had to hold their poses and act as if they were flying. The scene took several days to film, and the actors had to be lowered down for breaks and meals. The film was shot in several locations. 
While most of the movie was filmed at Leavesden Studios in England, several scenes were shot on location around the UK. For example, the exterior shots of Hogwarts were filmed at Anak Castle in Northumberland, while the interior of Grimmauld's Wizarding Bank was filmed at Australia House in London. The role of Hagrid was almost played by another actor. Before Robbie Coltrane was cast as Hagrid, the role was offered to several other actors, including Terry Gilliam, who was also in the running to direct the movie. Ultimately, the filmmakers chose Coltrane, who brought a warmth and humor to the character that made him an instant fan favorite. The movie had a different title in the US. In the UK and most other countries, the movie was released under the title Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, which is the title of the book. However, in the US, the movie was released as Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, as the publishers believed that American readers would be more familiar with the term sorcerer than philosopher. The movie was a critical and commercial success, despite the challenges of adapting such a beloved book to the big screen. Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone was a massive success. The movie grossed over $970 million worldwide, making it one of the highest-grossing movies of all time. It also received generally positive reviews from critics, who praised its faithful adaptation of the book and its stunning visual effects. Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone is a movie that has captured the hearts and imaginations of people all over the world. Its success can be attributed to a combination of talented filmmakers, a talented cast, and a beloved source material. While there are many unknown facts and trivia about the movie, what is clear is that it has left an indelible mark on popular culture and will continue to be loved by generations to come.